Hello, it's Sarah. And I just wanted to touch base with you guys. Um, I've been painting. I'm continuing painting. I know I mentioned that I was going to do some alcohol ink, and I still intend to do that. I have everything ready for that. But Christmas is such a fun time to paint. And when I come across all these projects that I've had lined up for painting, I just, I want to paint them because what I'm finding is um, I want to follow through with my intention. So um, this project, okay, so I just finished this one. I posted it on my Facebook. It's this Winter Welcome Banner. And these are Plum Purdy Designs. She's a... Uh, Renee Mullins, her name is, and I just happen to like her cutesy um, holiday stuff a lot. So um, it's not realistic painting. It's very, uh, it's decorative painting, but I just really love her colors, and oh man, it just attracts me. And I did just end up ordering some more stuff. I want to show you what I ordered, but... This book I've had, I have like three of her mini seasons books. This is volume four. And this little elf, I've just always, I had it traced out. Like I, tra see, I traced it. Well, I use it now. But I traced out the design and had wanted to do him for so long, this little elf. Um, so I finally did. I went through my stash. I knew I had these. These are... I think I got these at Michael's, but I think most of the, because I have a pattern packet that is for these. I'm going to probably cut these out now that I've ordered, because I was going to use these. I actually, to do the little elf, I used one of these. This is um, a three, uh, a four by 12, one eighth inch pine birch, I'm sorry, birch plywood. Anywho. So they have these at your craft stores, and I had a band, I have a band saw in the basement. So I cut him out myself. Basically, you take your tracing, so you need tracing paper, and you put it on the wood wherever you want it. And this just fit perfectly because his little feet, some of them, um, some of them in the book, like she has others. Like here's a autumn one, a pumpkin one. And you just glue them to these little uh, clothespins, you know, and I've never done a project with those clothespins. I've seen them in the stores. Here's the little snowman. So I was thinking of doing the snowman too, but I ended up ordering other ones. I'm going to show you what I got. So you just take your, you trace out the pattern, and you don't need all the details yet, but you just need the outline. And then just take that with some graphite paper or carbon paper and you trace the outline of the design onto the wood just like this and then your your outline will come onto the wood and then you just take this down if you have a scroll saw or a band saw this one's not so hard and I like to go around the edges and then just or if you have a straight line go straight but then take my time cutting in and out and I did pretty good on the elf I'll show you in a second um, and cut that out then you want to sand it get all the because this kind of comes out like um I can't anyway I don't have words today I gotta go for my walk and get my blood flowing in my brain um, anywho so then you get the cut out and then you can paint it and then these are the little um, clothes pins right and I don't know if you guys know but AC Moore especially in my area I don't know if in your area but in New Jersey is closing and I was in there yesterday, and I talked to uh, one of the women that works there who I know has been there forever. I see her in there every time I go. Sorry, I don't know what that is. I think it's glue, some type of glue. Probably got on here in transit, you know. Anywho, yep, it is true. They are closing, and evidently Michael's bought them. So there's some bitterness. She wasn't really pleased, and she doesn't know if she'll even want to work with them at the moment. But... The thing is, they're, uh, AC, I have AC Moore, Michaels, and Hobby Lobby just opened within the last year. And we have a Joann's. Our Joann's is not, um, what do they call it, like a superstore or something. It's just a small, but it's good for fabric. So I have all access to all of the, what do they call them, brick and mortar stores in my area. 
Um, so I love to just be able to go in there and find what I'm looking for instead of ordering online, which <laughs> may end up being the way of the future. It's just seeming like that's going to be the case. Anywho, so basically this is, let's see, about nine by two. And this is the size that you want for these projects. So if you're interested in doing these projects with me, because I'm going to do one on camera, um, this is what you want to get. And I think they're about three bucks. And that's comparable to Renee's because she also, if you go on her website, she sells, see, look, here's other ones. I saw this in here. So this is number 194 Christmas time cookies. And I, this is one of the ones I ordered. I was going to show you on my iPad. But there's a Santa, and I just love, and I thought you could put this in the kitchen during the holidays and have like a recipe on there or just a picture or nothing. It can just sit in there. And then there's snowmen. So these patterns are also done with, you just, or you, you don't have to. I think she even sells the wood pieces with just a block behind it that you can glue to make them stand up. So you don't have to put them on these. I bought three yesterday, and I may go back and get a couple more just to have in my stash, but that's not good to do because then I have things that I don't use, and I have so much, so anywho, um, but this is one of the ones I ordered. I'll show you on the, um, <clears throat> on my, wet, uh, whatever, whatever it's called, my iPad. Um, so she definitely does a good job advertising what she has for sale. Um, she has a special right now too, like if you buy three patterns, which they're 10 bucks a piece, so it's not cheap. Um, you get one free, which is good, so I think I did. She always gives you her color palette, which uses a lot of colors, and I use what I have. Your basic supplies, here's the source for the wood, for the wood kits and stencils. She also sells the stencils. I don't work for her at all, but I'm just telling you, this is what I like about her um, her publications because everything is right there. Um, she also gives you, so she talks about the sealers that she uses and the brushes, so you can't go wrong. Then there's general instructions in the beginning of how to prep the wood, how to trace and transfer your pattern, how to be base coat, highlight and shade, dry brush, stipple stencil, and sealing your piece. So you can't go wrong. And then here's just for the notepads, this guy, you can buy that. So it, it's all here, and so I just, I, that's one of the things that, you know, I can't deny that her, her work is really good, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> um, anywho, and I happen to like the cutesiness of it, now some of you won't, and that's fine, but I feel like these are good projects to do when you're learning, um, they make you happy, and here's my little elf that I did. So I cut him out and you can tell, I'll zoom in a little bit, and I did put him on one of the, I just used my weld bond and glued him onto the clothespin. And I painted, I took this apart so you can kind of wiggle, I interrupt myself, I'm sorry. You can wiggle this off of here and sand it real well because see like it gets this stuff. This is what I'm talking about. Like it gets, so you want to sand everything, seal it, and paint it. And then gently, I was able to put this back on by putting um, a bottle, actually. I put one of my paint bottles in between the clips to hold it open, and then I wiggled it on. And maybe I'll show you how I do that when I do um, the one I'm going to paint with you guys. So um, I put too many dots. I just didn't like hers has dots, too, but it was a little more sparse, and I went crazy, so I covered some of them up. But I think it's super cute. I'm going to zoom in and I'll show you. It was a little difficult for me to get his ear. He has one pointy ear, but I kind of butchered his other ear. It's like I gave him a haircut and cut his ear off. Um, but I think I did pretty good. Some of these little balls, there's little bells on the bottom of these points. I wasn't able to do that. Like on his shoe, I kind of did. But I don't mind. I feel very happy with how it turned out. Like the little ear on the bear, it's a little wonky, but it looks like a bear. I'm not going to beat myself up. Um, and let's see. This on her projects, the inside of this bow is actually cut out. So I don't, I guess they use like some kind of a laser cutter or something, which is amazing. Because look, 
look it's cut out like that's not even in there but I couldn't do that so I just painted it black maybe I should paint it red I don't know if it would be better and you know I mean his pom-pom got a little butchered because going around circles is a little hard but he's super cute I love it so much so I did this in two days I'm a fast painter and but look at this bow around his neck the way she shades and highlights with the hot shots fiery red I don't know if you know what that is it gives it such oh I love it anywho he's so cute all right and then all right so let me show you because I think it was last Christmas that I did her um, porch greeters I have Santa and Mrs. Claus, I believe, and an elf. Or I think I did a girl elf. I can't remember. I'm going to bring them up probably soon to put on the porch. Um, but these are the patterns that I ordered. I'm going to get the iPad out. And it's been crashing. This is an old one. Okay. I could not resist. This year's new pattern for her was like a, a gnome. Same with Tracy Moreau. She had the gnome... Um, was her um, gift of uh, whatever it's called. Um, <gasps> excuse me. I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, you guys know what I mean. So here he is. This is called Be Welcome. And look at the colors. I just couldn't resist the purple and the pink and the green and the tan. I just fell in love with him. So he's actually the same size as him, but I just think he's gorgeous. And I didn't get um, any more of these because I think I did order the wood though. I, but it's a packet that comes with two things. So it comes with this too, the be welcome sign or a stake. You could put like, ha, put a little stake under him and put him out in your yard, which I just would feel so sad to put that in the yard and get him messed up. Um, I ordered these. Um, I just, yes, Maddie, I'm making a video. Oh, sorry. So these are four. So you get four patterns in this um, packet. So you get the gingerbread, Santa, Rudolph, with the, look at the little balls hanging from his antlers, and a snowman with a birdie. I just couldn't resist. And uh, also because I love the background color. So a lot of times I'm attracted to color. And that just pulls me in. But these are adorable ornaments. And I did order the um, tags, the tag ornaments, which are like two bucks. And I'm sure you could find something at the local craft stores that are similar. Or you could cut your own. Or you could, you know, do it on something else. And, I mean, it would be fine. But I just ordered them. And then I got this pattern packet. This is, uh, I don't know if I have the names on here. But anyway, this was the one that was in the book. But I just love this gingerbread. And look at how, I think that's a stencil in the background. So the green, she just stenciled the background. But you don't have to do that. Um, I just love it. The little one's falling out of the pot. And then there's cookbooks on the bottom. It's just adorable. So I just really love that. And then the Santa, you can't go wrong with the Santa. But I'm going to paint the gingy. And... So this is the wood, and it's $4.25, $4 for the exact cutouts and, like, holes and everything and details and no little balls cut off. Like, that's the, oops. <laughs> but see, it comes with this block of wood, so you just glue that behind there, and it'll stand up so you don't even need to have one of these, but she does sell these on her website as well. Oh, and it crashed. But that was all, I think. Um, yeah, I just took pictures of those. So I got one, two, three pattern packets, and then I should get free one, a free one. Um, and then I ordered the tags and the wood cutout for this one. I think I got the wood cutout for Gingy too. So I got the Gingy wood cutout too. And that was it. It was around, I think it was around 40 bucks. And that's not bad because you know we go crazy and we can spend our little patooties off, you know. and. I haven't been spending this whole year as you know I mean I kind of took a break from crafting I had to get my craft room in order which I love coming in here again because it's so organized 
and I still have a little bit more I want to do the um, where I hold my scrapbook paper um, I don't use that as much and I want to take it out of there and organize it in a way that I will use what I have I want to bring up my um, what's it called not cards uh, I can't think of it the cardboard stuff I have anyway I have my basement I'm gonna go through my basement this winter and kind of um, get things put together with like wood with wood um, different crafts put together where they need to be anyway and it makes it much easier for me to create that way um, so anywho like this is another I just I have this on my desk it's one of Tracy Moreau's um, she's another great one you can order the pattern packet I'm gonna move that because it's shiny and the wood to go with it and she's got really great instructions as well but this sits on my desk and I put my phone on it when I'm crafting so I am going to um, wait for those to come and uh, my all my info is on here um, I'm going to wait for those to come and then we'll paint it together because I want to just, I want to go over, I do it a lot. Most of the painting videos are repetitive because I, it's the same process. Um, you know, you have to prep the wood, sand and seal it, get it ready to go, base coat it, then you shade and highlight, and then you add the details and seal and um, varnish. So it's a process, but I think it's nice when you can go through it together and I don't know if I varnished the back. I might not have varnished it yet. Um, but these are just such happy little things. And I mean, this could be an ornament. It's big, but that could be a big ornament hanging on your tree. I just love having little cutesy things all around. See, this is another. Uh, I have. Some, I did the magnets. Those were pattern packets that I have. See, look, I'll show you while I'm thinking of it because I cleaned out a drawer that I don't use and I have. So these are all Renee's pattern packets. This, I might go cut these right now while I'm thinking of it and then I'll have them ready to go, is the birdhouses. So see, this is what you do. It comes with a color picture so you can look at it and kind of see where she shades and highlights and stuff. I've already traced them because I, I use that to put the wood. So she has a tracing for each design. And then all your directions. Here's your supplies, the paints, the brushes, and then her little copyright thing. And then additional supplies, cutting and preparation, painting instructions. She covers everything very well detailed and um, finishing and then sources. She gets her wood cutouts from Cabin Crafters. There's a phone number um, and these are actually little mini wood chimes but I was thinking I could add beads. So after I've painted them and everything, look. So these are just little wind chimes, little metal things that dangle and you can order them from her site. But I thought I could dangle little beads, maybe Christmassy beads or something, or one bead, or nothing. It's just the bottom of the birdhouse. You don't have to put anything, and it's perfectly fine. So um, I'm going to cut those out today. But I have, I did these in the magnets. These are uh, winter melody ornaments. I've done, these are hanging on my tree. I already did these. I ordered the wood with it but these are made. Uh, maybe I'll show you my ornaments this year. There's Mrs. Claus. I did her last year. And the girl elf and Santa. So those are all finished too. So that's not bad. I actually painted all of these except for this one. So these are all done, which I'm very happy about. Now, that being said, I do have one, two, three books. And in a book, now a book I think is probably around $12 or $13, I'm not sure. And if you order from her, she signs them for you. So, and for this one I did get the metal part and some of the rock line, which is this fabric right here. I got two of these. 
So I'm going to make another banner. So I did my winter snowman. And I did them this year, and I don't know when I ordered this. Let me see if she wrote the date. No. Anyway, but there's a lot of projects in these that I have, but I just loved it, and I couldn't resist. So you get a lot for your money when you get a pattern packet. I mean, a, um, a book. I love the Thanksgiving one. Then she has all these stencils with the words, so you can't go wrong. Um, all of the, there's, so these are all banners. This whole book is banners that are meant to be interchangeable on that little um, thing. But you could paint these on wood. It could be on a piece of wood. You don't have to put, you could put it on whatever you want. So, ton, but mainly they're the seasons. And this is her theme. Like she does this, most of her books are set up that way. So that was the banners. This is a kind of a mix and I've painted these before. I have these in the basement. I gotta find them. But I think I painted them on tags. I might have done a video on this one, the little Santa. Um, but these are interchangeable again. It's like a little, I think this is a phone stand. This is her version of a phone stand like this. Oh, geez. Just knocked my elf over. Yeah, it's a phone stand. So you can interchange them with the seasons. So that, this book is the phone stand. I painted the penguin and the, and the um, Santa. And the, it's like a welcome sign. And you can see the size of these. They're nice. But that could be an ornament. And this is the, um, the welcome sign is kind of like an 8 by 10. Or a, a size of a piece of paper. I'm babbling. So yeah. But so cute. See, I just love her colors. There's Renee. Look at that bunny. I am into purple. For the last year or so, I've been really into purple. And then this is the other mini seasons that I've had. And it's all these guys, the little clip johns and these. So each design, she does one of each for both of those little wooden things. So that's what these books have. And she has lots of other books. I didn't order any more books. Because I have projects galore in here. I just haven't, you know... And so I didn't need to order the other stuff, but I did, and I forgive me. Um, but at least, um, and then that's the thing. See, look, these were meant to be um, ornaments on here. These are these ornaments. I'm wrecking my desk, but these. They're ornaments, but I just decided to put it on a little lampshade. So you don't have to do it, and I did it on the magnets. So here's my little snowman magnet right here. And here's the cardinals, and here's the cat. So use the surfaces that you have, all right? That's really it. That's what I wanted to do. It's a project share. I'm just doing more Renee because these are my kind of holiday inspiration um, projects that I really like, and that's the thing. It's December. Um, I just want to get these in while, and then January comes and I'm back to doing all types of stuff. I want to get back to my um, stained glass as well. I have ideas for that and um, definitely going to play with the alcohol inks because that was just something that I wanted to try that's new. Wood burning as well. I just got, see, look, I'm just rambling. I think I just had a cup of coffee and my brain is just, um, oh, I know where they are. These little things. Do you guys ever see these? I have two packs. I was going to give them the Liam, but they're magnets, and they're ready to go. They're in the kids section probably, and they just come with these markers. But what I thought I would do was use the, like I can, well, I'll make it a magnet or a pin or whatever, depending on how it turns out. Um... I'm not sure, but I was thinking I would try to wood burn it, and so go around everything, outline all these lines that are on here, which I don't know how that'll go with wood burning, and then try to do some shading and highlighting, or, you know, shading really, because it's with a wood burner, but I have to practice that. I've never really done any wood burning that isn't... Um, like, look, this is what I've liked to do so far with my wood burning is kind of burn. And I could do this. I mean, is burn the, 
Yep, this is the same thing. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down a little, sorry, up a little. It's the same pattern. Only this time I burned the wood, and this was my first time really doing this background, which I don't even know if I could recreate it. I don't remember which tip I used, but mainly I just do the outline, and I did do some shading. Look at that. That might be with paint. I think that's with paint. I floated that shading in there. The only burning I did was the background, and... Um, the lines yeah and then I used paint but I like the look of that I, I like when you just do it with very very light washes and you can combine the two so I like this a lot I need to get back to it and explore it a little more but it's Renee's I'm um, not sorry not Renee this is um, <sighs> Renee's name is stuck in my head I don't know why I don't have words Tracy Tracy Moreau or Moreau or anyway she's the one who does random acts of kindness and so I have a couple of her patterns as well this is painted this is just painted with pen and ink as well we used a micron pen to do the detailing I like Tracy's because she definitely adds she's doing a little more mixed media feel in her work she does stenciling behind her work a lot she uses other media, so like the pen, the micron pens, different things like that, a little bit of um, collage. So she just collaged on this piece of paper here that says Inspire. You know, so those are the things that attract me. Um, and I know that I could probably create my own work, but this is so relaxing because they've done it for me. I don't have to think. That's not how my brain works. I like to follow along with someone else and it's just I love it but so these are just two versions and I'm sure I could probably see that's what I'm saying I think I could do this and maybe just paint him in soft washes like that and it would look super cute or I could try now see because this is it should be bright color I'd have to put some bright light bulbs on him you know and a bright red nose and anywho um so I will be back and I'm so excited. Yes, I'm going to do some more. So we're coming into 2020, guys. I've been on YouTube for, oh, I think I got on here in 13. I think that's seven years. So um, I have learned and shared a lot in that time. And I'm going to continue my journey because it is, it is a very important part of my life to um, have you guys and to share what YouTube has to offer I know things are changing but that's not about us I don't think it's going to affect my videos whatsoever um, I uh, I need this in my life and I realized that this year um, not to say that I wasn't happy I was very very happy that I spent the time I did this year especially since my brother passed away because um, I was able to spend a lot of time with him and his family and um, you know but now that it's winter see maybe in the summer I'll take breaks more because I want to get out there and live you know be out in the world I love summer not the hot hot but anyway I'm just rambling now but yeah, so that is what's coming. So if you're interested in painting with me, let me think of what I'm going to do. I am going to paint with you guys. Mm. Should I do the um, the gingerbread? I'm so I so want to do that gnome. I am going to do, I have to decide because if you guys want to get it and paint along with me, I'll be right back. All right, I had to get that clutter off my desk, but I just went over when I was putting this wood in my little wood section now that I have, I found this little piece and I think I got this from um, when I used to take classes at, uh, her name, it was Vicky's. Um, Cornucopia Crafts, it was called. Anyway, uh, 
So I could put a little one of her designs on here and keep things in there. It's so cute. Like this is just like either a dollar store bowl or something that you would find at like a thrift store. And then she had someone cut lids for it. So cute. So anyway, I want to use this. I've had it. This I might have had this for 20 years, literally. Um, these are also excellent and I've taken the tags off them. Actually, this comes in a pack, I think. And this is a six by five piece of wood, but like these would fit on here. So even if you wanted to do, you know, one of these ornaments, you could cut it out of this. So there is wood available. This birch plywood is really good for these type of projects for ornaments and stuff. So um, that's it. I just wanted to share that. Um, and if you guys want to paint along with me, I didn't decide which one I'm going to do. I'll probably do the um, gingerbread. I'm going to do the gingerbread because it's the holidays. And then I'll save the little gnome troll whatever guy. He is so cute. Those colors are just popping. He's going to be on my desk. Like, he's just, I love him. Just makes me happy. Um, all right, and I'll go through the whole process for creating this little project. That's it, you guys. Thanks for watching.